in case there's ever an active shooter situation in their area. They've worked for months to plan an active shooter drill, and this morning it finally happened. Tiffany Lopez joins us live now with the story. Tiffany? Yeah, good afternoon. That's right. Police officers, EMS crews, emergency managers, and even healthcare workers all had input on today's active shooter drill right here at Boyd County High School. The public was also alerted so as not to cause a panic. But what's really interesting is just how real today's scenario was. Um, some details weren't even given to these emergency crews, like the number and the location of the shooter or the number of victims as well as their injuries. That way they could get real world responses from these emergency responders. It's important because it's not just on the tactical aspects of law enforcement, but now uh, EMS and fire is more and more involved in going in and, and extracting patients and victims as soon as possible. So we need to be able to coordinate all our efforts together. Uh, England went on to tell us that what he would really like the public to know is just to be aware of your surround, of surroundings and also to know, know what to do next. He says they're already planning another active shooter drill for next year. Reporting live in Boyd County, I'm Tiffany Lopez, 13 News, working for you. Tiffany, thanks for that live report. The school year will begin in